Hello and welcome. Here Ukash from MySCADA World and uh, today in YouTube channel we go with next tutorial about the WinCC V7. In last video we talked about the creation the txt files and appending data into txt file and in this video we will talk about the csv and export data into csv file let's open the graphic designer we need to create additional button so we name this with csv and let's say it's write data and this button should create for us the CSV and write the data into this. So in first we need to create the file CSV and we see how it's uh, how we see this in inside WinCC and inside Windows. We open the action as we remember. We have the test txt. If you don't uh, remember about this, go back to the last video where we create this function. Today, let's just make the extension csv. So after we create this file, we will have the csv inside our system. Okay, let's save. Let's refresh this window. After we click, we have the CSV on screen with test, test, test. But Windows C is CSV, so we can make now the data writing into this. CSV file is good to have the heading for this kind of uh, files. So we know exactly in which column we have each value. So we have the information how to write line. So we need to write line about how it's look. So first, let's say it's the date time. And after semicolon, we will have the value. So now, after we make the script, we will have the heading for this file, and the file is CSV. Okay, but let's see how to make the write data into this file. So we have the FCO second write line, date time, and value. So now let's create some IO field. Let's say it will be the I.O. field with tank level analog value. So we go to off. OK. We change some properties. For example, 1000 in 0. OK. We have our tag ready. So we can create the next button. And this button, we can save for us the data into this file. Okay, write the data. And uh, this script can be copied. So we have the file, we open this, we write the heading in before value but now we can make the right data so we can say we need some additional variable and we put some dim so we have the dim and we have the data set in data set we can put some information how we want to uh, see this data. So we can use the visual basic script function for example now. So function now will 
display for us the actual date time in ECC and we need the value and value we go with tag management analog and we took the tank level value so we put this here so we need to hime runtime dot tags open and read this data so now in data set we have the now and we need to put the semicolon and value so now in right line we can put um, here data set so our function should open this file and I'll open data every time we we click the save data okay we make the save we need to refresh this window okay so we have the we can delete our csv we create new so our new is date time semicolon and value so after we click the write the data we should have the one line more so we see it's date time actual and the number so we can make the change the value change the value change the value change the value so we open this file again in file we have the our steps so we have the date time and value anytime we want if you open this in excel we will see the two columns in excel file so we can use this kind of stuff if you want to write some data from WinCC v7 into csv file so for example we want to write down the values from some tags from for example process we can make this one minute process one minute value one minute value one minute value so we can make this analyze in excel in external programs in next video we will create the full csv exporting function that can take the errors can see if this file is exist or not and we will create the one minute acquisition cycle for this kind of stuff so we put the function every one minute we will create one line in inside this csv file today it's it's enough go and try yourself inside WinCC v7 i have two functions to make this easier for you i have the function to write down the line about the daytime and value and first one was just to create the csv inside WinCC v7 with specific heading see you next time and bye